Okay, welcome back. Today in this video we're going to look at the draw loop. And this is actually the beginning of where you can start making some games um, and having different animations within your game. So this is really kind of a cool activity to do. Um, I'm going to just focus on the skill building activities. So this first activity here, you notice that we have these green ellipses that are being created, but they also want to add an orange. So if we run this, you can see that the green just go ahead and well eventually populate the whole screen and just fill it up with green what we want to do is we want to add a second ellipse here okay and we're going to change the color of that ellipse so if i drag the ellipse out here notice we have the width and the height as well we really don't need those so we can actually just move this over and get rid of those and then we're going to add the randomness to this. So we're going to add random number here and we're going to add random number here just like what we did with this. So we're going to have 0, 400 and 0 and 400. And what that means is this ellipse is going to show up every time the loop runs it will create this ellipse randomly from the very upper left hand corner to the very bottom right hand corner. And then what we're going to do is we're going to also add a fill color. So we'll drag this in here and it looks like they want orange. So we'll put orange in there. And if it doesn't show up there, that's fine. We can just go ahead and type this in and it'll recognize that. And so now when we run it, there are those shapes. Now, if we did something different, maybe we just wanted to have orange show up down here, we could change the random number. So what happens in the draw loop is as it runs, it's gonna fill green and it's gonna randomly pick a location these two randoms right here and, and place it on there and the same thing with the orange once it gets done with that it's going to place one and then it's going to do it again and go back through and do the loop infinitely it will just keep adding those over and over and over and you can see that as they keep showing up here so um, this is kind of how the draw loop works it's just going to run forever eventually you could add some parameters to this and like limit the amount that the draw loop is going to work but for right now this infinitely is just going to run until we tell it to stop okay so now I'm going to move on to the next skill building. There is a prediction after this, so go ahead and you can run that prediction um, for the next activity. But we're going to skip to the next skill building here. And so now for this activity, if we scroll this down a little bit, it says do this, run the code and see how it works. Um, try changing the numbers in the random number block and running the program again. So if we do this, we can see that this character kind of moves here. And then what it's happening is it's creating an orange background, and then we're going to change the rotation. And it's keeping it in a very, like, a narrow range. And so that's why you get this shaking effect. If I were to change this, and let's just say make it 100, or let's make it 90, and make this one 90, what will happen is it will randomly pick between negative 90, which will go this direction, and 90 this direction. And so you'll see that the shaking will be greater. Okay, so let's take a look at that for a second. And you can see it just randomly. Every time the loop runs, it's going to create a background. It's going to draw that sprite in a randomly different rotation. It goes back through, prints the background again, and does that over and over and over. So this is kind of how, the again, the loop operates this way. Okay, hopefully that helps you with this one. And we'll do the last skill building here real quick. Okay, so this one we already have one. So it says run the program, see how it works. Edit the code in the program to make the second sprite shake like the first one. So if we run this, we can see that this one shakes, but this one does not. And so you can see that the pencil right here, we're changing the X location by 100 to 110. Okay, so we can change the brush, and we'll go ahead and chain, put a random number in there. Now we don't want to keep the same numbers as this, otherwise it's going to show up over here. And so we want to change these locations. Let's take a look at the grid here a second, and let's say that this is, what, 300 is X. So let's say 290, oops, 290 and 300. And if we do that, you can see it's shaking as well. All right, so all it's basically doing is every time the loop runs, the pencil is being drawn at this location, and the brush is being drawn at this location. All right, hopefully this helps you with your coding, and good luck, 
and good luck in your coding experience.